Hallo und herzlich willkommen. Ich bin euer Mr. Wenner 1974. Wir sind bei Folge 6. Sollte eine Schlange darstellen. Von Gabriel Knight in der 20-jährigen Jubiläumsfassung. Hier, das Ding haben wir abgearbeitet. Dann wollen wir jetzt mal eben ins Voodoo-Museum. Das müsste ihr jetzt auch noch haben. Alles auch. Gut, dann können wir das nämlich auch abhaken. Welcome, my friend. Hello. I am the proprietor, Dr. John. If you have any questions, I would be happy to assist. Great. My name is Knight. And I'll probably take you up on that. Im Original war das übrigens Michael Dorn. Und damit ihr das auch mal wisst, sieht, der sieht auch geil aus. Das will ich, auch. ich will einen Totenkopf. Schenkt mir den bitte. Reminds me of a book critic for the New York Times. <lacht> <lacht> Looks like Jack Nicholson. Gewisse Ähnlichkeit, ja. Grüße. Ja. Flickering candles lend an appropriately spooky atmosphere to the museum. Ich kann jetzt zu Jack Nicholson, glaube ich, immer noch sagen, auch wenn äh, Heath Ledger großartig war, Jack Nicholson ist der Joker. Ja. Oh. Bin mal gespannt, was er dazu schreibt. Vor allem schreiben. The Voodoo Shrine is filled with items that both fascinate Gabriel and also make his skin crawl. Ja, ich finde find das geil. Also. Das war ohne Frage. Also. Grafisch richtig scheiße geil. They lend a certain psychotic ambiance. No. Apro ambiance. Ich kann euch gleich was sagen. Ich habe äh, Capri äh, Song Core nachgeschlagen. Erzähl ich euch ja was zu. Das war übrigens der Gag, wo ich irgendwann, ich hab's glaube ich irgendwie in so einem, in, in einem Video schon mal erzählt. Äh, jetzt weiß ich auch, woher das kam. Will that look sacrilegious? Na, warum auch nicht? Ist ja irgendwie alles eine Mischkultur. Magenta Moonbeam. Voodoo Ich glaube, die gab's im Original auch. A flyer ja. advertising Magenta Moonbeam. A local Voodoo A parlor is on the corner of Orleans and Dauphine. Das heißt, wir haben einen weiteren Ort. Wonder who that poor bastard was. Ich weiß es nicht. Ich kannte ihn nicht. We wouldn't be much of a voodoo museum without a voodoo doll. Können wir ihn aufmachen? This coffin is so small. A waste of some perfectly good wine, if you ask me. So, was haben wir noch so? It's an electrical switch. <lacht> Hab ich schon mal gesehen. Kann ich da rumspringen? Ich finde das bestimmt total lustig, wenn ich Licht ausmache. What does this do? Turn that thing off. <lacht> oh, sorry. We have air conditioning, you see. Yeah, I see. Hä, was hat das gemacht? Hat er denn mit die Lato angeschmissen oder was? Gabriel has no interest. Ja, 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 aber es haben wir mit Sicherheit nicht ohne Grund den Ventilator. A leather whip hangs from a peg on the wall. Oh, hurt me. Oh, aber ein neunschwänzige kann auch verdammt viel. Äh, naja, komm, lass mal. There's a beaten up old fan in the window. It's silent at the moment. The fan might operate, but not in that way. Ja, ja, klar, mit dem Schalter. The fan is entrenched in the window frame. Ja, ja, das ist mir schon klar, aber ich habe das sicherlich nicht ohne Grund. Something about the shape of that knife gives Gabriel the creeps. Ich finde das gut. Das ist äh, sowas mag ich. Gabriel doesn't want anything Ach, jetzt habt ihr nie so. That knife. Mein Gott, Milchbubi. Yeah, right. I'd probably cut my own head off with that thing. That must be Marie Laveau. Ja, bin ich bin gespannt, ob wir da noch ein bisschen mehr Infos kriegen, weil daran kann ich mich nicht mehr erinnern. An authentic looking pole marks the center of the room. Authentic what? Gabriel isn't sure. Kann man mitnehmen? The pole is solidly connected to the floor. Wie seltsam. An official voodoo wishing stump. Rub it and make a wish, a card says. Funny, I say the same thing to women. <lacht> Der war geil, der war geil, der war geil. Extra für die Zielgruppe Penis. Ha! Guter Gag. I 
wish Molly or Getty were mine forever. Really, I mean it. What was that? Huh? Nothing. <laughs> Gero doesn't recognize the museum's flags. No, he's on it. The back wall displays various voodoo items, such as offerings of fruits to the voodoo deities. Even if that were for sale, Gabriel couldn't afford it. A beaded gourd is on display. Large, elaborate drums occupy a corner of the museum. Come on, I'll speak. Please, do not touch the drums. They are authentic. Authentic what? Drums. Do not touch them. Mm -hmm. Wer das noch nicht kennt, da halte ich mir noch die Klappe, aber die Trommeln spielten im alten Teil eine wichtige Rolle. A very large, very formidable looking snake is secured in a plexiglass cage. Aha. Ist eine Schlange. The snake is too far away. Und wir haben ja was gefunden von der Schlange. Python is quite dangerous. I would stay back if I were you. Thanks for the advice. So. Können wir mal gucken, was das er für ein Typ? Dr. John is a huge man. If his manner weren't so pleasant, he'd be intimidating. Tja, aber nein, er ist ja freundlich, natürlich. Given the man's size, that doesn't seem advisable. Come, we're quarreling. Could I ask you a few questions? Absolutely, that's that's why I am here. Let's get lost. What can you tell me about voodoo? Historical voodoo. Or the voodoo currently practiced in the city. Hello. What do you know about the voodoo murders? The killings in the newspaper. I know they have nothing to do with true voodoo in New Orleans. Was du? What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? It is one of the important ceremonial nights in voodoo. Do you know anything about snakes? Ah. You have perhaps noticed the museum snake, Mr. Knight? Mm -hmm. They are beautiful creatures. Do you not agree? And the tourists seem to associate them with voodoo. Yeah. Tell me about yourself. Me? Yes, if you don't mind. What is it you wish to learn? Alles. <laughs> Why did you open a voodoo museum? The subject has fascinated me all my life. And I wanted to help preserve the cultural heritage it represents. Okay. What kind of background in voodoo do you have? Let us just say I cut my teeth on it, Mr. Knight. It is in my blood. Do you do anything besides run the museum? No. The museum does not make me a rich man. But my material needs are simple. I prefer to focus on my one true interest in life. Mm -hmm. What are your own religious beliefs? My beliefs are too personal. And too complex to discuss with the Laban, Mr. Knight. Und es ist nicht gut, mit anderen Leuten über Religion oder Politik zu sprechen. Nur mal so ein Tipp am Rande. Kommt nie gut. Just tell me anything. I am originally from the West Indies myself, you know. Really? What brought you to New Orleans? I was drawn here for personal reasons. Ach, Karin, wie sowas Feines. Just tell me anything. I am a vegetarian. Really? I can't imagine living without meat. That must be the hunter in you, Mr. Knight. <laughs> Just tell me anything. I am not an easy person to get to know. I am a very private man. Isn't that unusual for someone in the museum business? Not at all. My displays speak for me. Okay. Just tell me anything. Not everyone can come see the museum. So, I occasionally do public speaking on the subject of historical voodoo. Anything coming up that I might attend? No. But then you have me all to yourself right now, do you not? Actually, I can't think of a thing. Then let us discuss something else. Okay, we have a lot of points here, so is this not nicht. What do you think of New Orleans? It is the only city in the United States, as far as I am concerned. Okay. Just a quick 
Es ist Cabri Son Corps. Ohne dass ihr nachschlagen müsst. Ziegen oder Ziege ohne Hörner oder Ziege ohne Horn. Do you know what Cabri Son Corps means? I fear my French is not all it should be. Natürlich. Natürlich, wo man. Genau. Do you know anything about animal masks? I used to have some antique African totem masks, but they were on the point of disintegration. So I removed them. Tell me about historical voodoo. Very well. I will start at the beginning, Mr. Knight, and will go on from there at your prompting. Sounds good. As you may know, voodoo is a grassroots religion, formed by the mixing together of many different African tribal religions and Anglo religions, such as Catholicism or Protestantism. In other words, it is a religion born of the African slave trade. But African slaves were imported not only by the United States, but also into the West Indies with the French and Spanish ran plantation islands. Prior to 1803, the New Orleans area was owned by France. The French Creole in those days owned many African slaves. But the Creole did not permit their slaves to gather, giving no chance for voodoo to breed here natively. The Creole also knew enough about the corrupted pagan practices of the West Indies slaves to ban the importings of slaves from that region. Hmm? Das schon mal. So, how did voodoo come to New Orleans? After the Louisiana Purchase, American legislators relaxed regulations. Slaves were permitted to gather. The Americans also removed the ban on West Indies slaves. Around the same time, a slave revolt occurred in Santo Domingo, what is now Haiti. Between the lifting of the ban and the Haitian revolt, West Indies slaves began pouring into New Orleans. Some of them were free people of color, freed or escaped slaves. Some came with their white owners who were fleeing from the revolt. What happened when the West Indies slaves got here? They brought voodoo with them. The native slaves were more than enthusiastic about embracing it. It gave them power, Mr. Knight. If only in the form of a communal barn. Among the first meeting places were the Bayou St. John and the shore of Link Pontchartrain. The early voodoos were heavy snake worshippers, worshipping the one they call the Great Zombie. Ja, 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 jetzt wird schon interessant. Und äh, Bayou St. John, bin ich der Meinung, gibt es als Location, oder gab es im Location im alten Game auch. Haben wir das damit auch schon freigeschaltet? Hö, hey, wird eine geile Folge, glaube ich. Tell me more about historical voodoo. By 1817, the voodoo activities were beginning to cause fear among the white slave owners. An ordinance was passed to forbid slave gatherings except in designated public areas at designated times. The time was Sunday afternoons, and the place, Congo Square. The slaves and free people of color gathered to dance simulations of their voodoo dances, right in sight of Creole society. Of course, they also continued to meet in private for the real thing. Oh, das geht ja auch weiter. Ja, daran könnt ihr euch gewöhnen. Da gibt es solche Öf Sachen gibt es öfter hier. Deswegen ist es eher aufgebaut wie ein Roman. Aber ja, das ist ja für Leute, die es interessiert, sicherlich nicht uninteressant. Tell me more about historical Voodoo. There were a variety of kings and queens at first. Voodoo priests and priestesses. But from about 1830 a single power emerged. This was a Voodoo Queen named Marie Laveau. Marie Laveau ruled Voodoo in New Orleans for many years. Okay, jetzt kennen wir sie auch. Das ist schön. Das fehlte mir noch. Komm mal, als Marien ist das auch weg. So how is the museum business? Those who truly seek to understand are few, Mr. Knight. But even one can be an audience. Sounds about like my shop. So where do you pick up all this stuff? Oh, here and there. We accept donations of any pertinent items. Do you ever get any wackos in here? You mean, besides yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, besides me. I do not care to make those kinds of judgments, Mr. Knight. All are welcome here. You're a big guy, aren't you? You work out, play sports? <laughs> I do not play basketball. If that is what you want to know. Who, me? No, you just look like such a natural athlete. 
I do find ways of keeping fit, Mr. Knight. After all, our bodies are temples. Oh, I can't even love us You sound like Grace. I should get the two of you together. Is Grace your wife? No, she just acts like it. <laughs> so what do you think of our summer weather? Have you ever seen it so overcast or so muggy? It is unpleasant. The heavens are not pleased these days. What does it end on the honest? Nice outfit. I prefer simple cotton to dead flesh, Mr. Knight. I'll have to remember that. Boy, is that of it. This is quite a place you have here. Thank you, Mr. Knight. I have dedicated myself to the preservation of this unique culture. It is gratifying to see others reap the fruits I have sown. Gut. Dann die Punkte machen wir auf jeden Fall in dieser Folge auch noch. Dann geht's mal Zeit für moderne Sudo. Tell me about current voodoo. Many people think of voodoo in terms of magic spells or gregory. That kind of practice is actually called hoodoo and is only a part of true voodoo. Voodoo, the religion, has a strong following in New Orleans. In fact, it is growing quite rapidly. There are several voodoo churches or temples in the city, and others all across the United States. African Americans see it as a tradition all their own. Whites, and there are many in the religion, are attracted to it because they think it is exotic. I personally am more interested in the history of voodoo. Some of the new movements are copying Haitian or even African voodoo. But it is the voodoo of New Orleans that I find so intriguing. Mm -hmm. oh, sure was nice. Tell me about Marie Laveau. There were actually two Marie Laveaux, mm -hmm. mother and daughter. Most people thought they were the same woman. Her continued youth added to the mystique. The original, the mother, was also known as Widow Paris. It was she that began the empire. Don't say more, Mia. Tell me more about Marie Laveau. The Laveau too, where one or both of the Maries are believed to be buried, is in St. Louis Cemetery Number no. One. It is a popular shrine for practitioners and tourists alike. I myself take tours through the cemetery on a regular basis. Really? Do you have any run-in this week? No, but the cemetery is open to the general public as well. Damit haben wir die nächste Location. Das wusste ich. Es gab da noch einen Friedhof. Also, ja, wir räumen wir ja ab, ey. Das wird ja ein Tag, der ist ja, der geht ja ewig. <lacht> What exactly is Hoodoo? Hoodoo refers to magic folk traditions of the South. Hoodoo is a bastard of Voodoo. Many of the Gri Gri are similar. But Hoodoo does not have the religious aspects of Voodoo. Ah, that man haben was. Ja, dann würde ich sagen, setze ich hier einen Cut. Und dann sehen wir uns in der nächsten Folge wieder. Dann haben wir definitiv eine Menge Locations. Und dann geht's weiter. Also auf jeden Fall passiert eine Menge. Und ich glaube, wir sind auf einem guten Weg, dass man das auch irgendwie abschließen kann. Also, glaubt mir, es geht noch wesentlich länger. Ne? Das ist jetzt nicht irgendein Adventure, was man in zehn Folgen durchspielt. Weiß Gott nicht. Dazu ist es länger. Viel, viel länger. Aber gut. Kriegen wir hin. Sehen wir uns in der nächsten Folge wieder und denkt dran, abonnieren, kommentieren, bewerten und ich freue mich also. Und darauf kommt es ja auch an. Ich bin euer Mr. Wenner1974. Sehen wir uns in der nächsten Folge. Bis dann. Tschüss.